A woman in Fort Wayne is going to have to say goodbye to her pet. Sarah Householder has been caring for a squirrel for the past six months. But now she is being forced, she says, to give Rocky up. News Channel 15's Randy Spieth joins us with more on Sarah's battle to keep her new pet. Mark and Heather, Sarah tells us she wanted to get a permit to keep her furry friend, but a DNR spokesperson tells us you have to get the license before getting the wild animal. Still, Sarah's not ready to give up the family pet. Rocky has been a part of the householder family for the past six months. My mother-in-law and her husband had a couple of trees cut down in their yard, and the guy started cut into one of the trees and realized he cut into a nest of babies. Rocky was the only survivor. I couldn't let him lay there and die. He was only a few days old. I'm not going to leave him out in the freezing cold in the middle of March. Sarah Householder says she didn't want Rocky at first, but as he got older and bigger, that changed. He now has his own cage and has his favorite snack, Reese's Pieces. We wanted the permit to keep him, not to mention he's become part of the family. When Rocky's not in his cage, he runs around the living room. Despite the presence of other pets, Rocky has no problems around the house. Now, Sarah and her family don't want Rocky to leave. I raised him from an infant. I fed him out of a syringe. Like every two hours. If someone feels the need to save that animal, uh, which really isn't necessary in most instances, uh, the proper and legal way to take care of that is to turn that animal over to a, a licensed wildlife rehabilitator within 24 hours. It is illegal to possess without a permit. I do whatever I have to to keep my baby. Householder says she has to give up Rocky next week to a licensed, licensed wild animal rehabilitator, but she does plan to look into ways of getting the squirrel back. Mark and Heather, back to you.